Maurice, congratulations, man. You're having a heck of a year. Uh, I just got the uh, just got the word from your coach that against Lugol Elgin last week, you ran for about 170 yards on 21 carries. But the, the stat that blew me away, you had 18 broken tackles. Now, you're not the biggest guy in the world, but uh, he told me you're very tough and very fast. Talk a little bit about your style and how you break 18 tackles in one game. I like stuff on people, so, like, I just run, and then if I feel you're trying to, like, blindside me, I just move out the way. Cause you, like, like you said, I'm not the biggest, so I don't like to get hit that much. So you just kind of use that arm to throw him away? Yes, sir. You've got a you've got a heck of a stiff arm. Then uh, having a great year. I mean, your numbers are outstanding. And again, the thing that jumped out at me was not just the fact that you're you're averaging uh, 141 yards a game, but you're also averaging nine yards a carry, and that's special. Uh, talk a little bit about y'all style and what enables you to obviously break a lot of long ones. Uh, we have a really good line, a lot of good kick out blocks. You know, it all starts with a snap. We got good handoffs, and then we train really hard at practice. So. Between you and Caleb, you guys together are averaging over 200 yards rushing a game, and that's without anybody else or without uh, without even putting passing into the mix. Mix, so obviously that's your bread and butter. Uh, describe that one-two combination of, of you and Caleb. Like if I break a long one, he's definitely gonna break a long one. Like if Caleb gets an open field, he can juke left, right, he'll spin stuff on. Like he said, he'll say he's not the fastest, but he does have a cut. He would cut. He was he's one of those guys that isn't fast until it's time to tackle him. Then he's, you can't catch him, kind of a Jerry Rice kind, yeah. but not quite that fast. Um, you guys are four and one, which is a which is obviously an awesome start. But you haven't lost since game one, and you've really got it going. What's been the key to you guys playing as well as you have heading into your last non-region game against Spring Valley on Friday? We have a lot of reality checks on the team. Like if we start to slack off, coach will make sure we know that four and one is. I mean, it's good, but it's not a state championship. Mm -hmm. We haven't played a game in the region yet, so we train extremely hard and practice extremely hard to get where we're at now. You know, a lot of people are looking at this game uh, on Friday at Spring Valley as certainly, if not the top game in the area, but one of the most, and it's very intriguing because you guys run the ball so well, yet they're very athletic and very good defensively. What have you seen on them on, uh, on film, on tape, and, and what kind of battle do you expect this to be out at Spring Valley on Friday? I know the defensive line is pretty quick. And their linebackers, they're not afraid to hit. So I feel it's going to be like a good run battle and like, you know, like a breaking tackle and running real hard and then passing every now and again. It should be a really good battle. All right, man. Well, well uh, congratulations on a great year so far. Good luck Thank against you. Spring Valley. And uh, I'm sure we will talk to you before the season's over. Thank you.